Hello, God Life family. My name is Jesse. It's so great to be together again to dive into God's Word. And today I want to talk about loyalty and betrayal. And betrayal is one of the most painful experiences in our lives. And the Bible has a lot to say about how to respond. I want to encourage you right now, if you're watching this video, to hit the share button, invite other people into the conversation, share this encouragement and hope with other people. One press of the share button could reach hundreds of people. And then also leave your prayer requests and uh, let us know which country you're watching from. Now, when you think about betrayal, you might think of one of the books in the Bible called Obadiah. Obadiah was a prophet and he spoke God's word to Edom. Edom is a nation that traces all the way back to Esau. That's right, Abraham had Isaac, Isaac had twins, Jacob and Esau, and there was sibling rivalry. And sometimes in your family, there's betrayal. Instead of love, there's animosity. And that was the case with Jacob and Esau, and that was the case with Israel and Edom. Now, Edom today would be considered uh, location-wise in the country of Jordan. And in this book, Obadiah, God is calling out the unfaithfulness, the betrayal of Edom. Now, Edom does a lot of stuff. You can go back to the kings, and that Saul and David and Solomon, you can see Edom going after the Israelites. But what God recognizes and reports and calls them out here is that there's a range from just sitting back and being passive and kind of aloof and indifferent and not really standing up, and then also going further, not just ignoring some things, but then also being proactive in terms of the trouble. And that was mocking, looting, and even taking captives. And God says, this is your brother. And we need to remember that we are family and that we are God's family and that you might have biological family where there's betrayal. Some of the most painful stuff in life is when one person in marriage is unfaithful to the other. I've seen that happen. I've counseled people where that's happened and it's brutal. When someone really knows you but then rejects you, knows you fully and then leaves you, that is so painful. It tests you to the core. It can happen in dating as well. It can happen when one spouse is choosing pornography. Uh, it can also happen in ministry. People undermine each other. It can happen in our biological families that were once united, but now there's strife and division. It can happen in the workplace when someone tries to hold you down. It can happen when someone gives you their word, but then doesn't back it up, doesn't stay faithful. All these experiences are so disappointing. And there's a time of mourning and grieving, which is necessary. But I want to tell you today, there's encouragement. Think about Jesus. He went through this. And with Judas, Judas betrayed him. Jesus gave him every opportunity, but eventually, you know, let him go. And you can't control everyone. Some people are going to betray you. It happened to Jesus. Some people, you know, denied Jesus, like Peter. But Jesus restored Peter because his heart was open and teachable. And some people doubted, like Thomas. But Jesus brought truth and was merciful to Thomas. And again, we see restoration. You know, relationships are a risk. You can't control the other person. But I want you to share your prayer requests now if you're going through a painful time or just share this video right now to encourage people who have maybe experienced betrayal because you can lean into God during times when people let you down. You can lean into God. God is close to the brokenhearted. God brings healing for those who are crushed in spirit. God is faithful. God knows you fully and won't reject you. That's why it's so powerful when God says, never will I leave you, never will I forsake you, that he will keep all his promises, that God will be faithful, his chesed, loyal love. He is a covenant-keeping God. And when other people disappoint you, turn to the Lord. Lean in for that healing. Lean in for that encouragement. Let God restore and rebuild you. And I'll tell you, when people try to push you down or hold you back, it actually Oftentimes, because God is so gracious, he will move you forward. The very time that people try to push you down and limit you, God will bring breakthrough. And God looks out for you. God will exalt those who humble themselves before the Lord. And think of the book Nehemiah in the Bible, where Nehemiah had an important work. And maybe you've been doing an important assignment from God. You've been listening to God. You've been teachable. You're taking action. And what happened to Nehemiah? There was Sam Ballot. There was uh, Geshem, there was Tobiah, and they were all mocking, trying to intimidate, discourage, even attack Nehemiah and the people serving the Lord. But Nehemiah said, no, the joy of the Lord is our strength. We're going to pray. There's going to be protection. We're going to continue on this good work. We're not going to be held back. 
And don't let people have too much power. Don't let people have the final say. Even when they throw shade at you, even when they try to discourage you, even when they let you down, don't let that be the end of the story. Instead, like Jesus, you overcome it, you rise up, you got to abide with the Lord. Let's be faithful people. Let's be people who love our brothers and sisters. Let's be people who honor the Lord. Let's be people who listen to God, who take action. And when there's a challenge in the culture, when there are people who reject Jesus, let's not be people who shrink back and get discouraged. Let's not be people who give up. Let's not be people who are overcome. Yes, we grieve, but we have hope. We have a hope you know, even the betrayal is only going to last so long. And you're going to move forward. You're going to move past it. You're going to overcome. You're going to surround yourself with people who love you, who are faithful. You're going to choose kind friends. We need God's help. Discernment with friendships. Discernment when we're dating. We need God's help every day. So we cry out to God in prayer. And we seek the Lord. We listen to the Lord. And the Holy Spirit will lead us and guide us. So I want to encourage you today that betrayal is not the end of the story. Eventually, Edom wouldn't change, wouldn't repent. And Edom was no longer around, destroyed in the year about 70 AD through Titus and Rome, eventually destroyed because a path of unfaithfulness and betrayal. That person who betrays you is actually not doing very well. They're hurting on the inside. They're not healthy. There's a sickness there. There's an illness there. Something's off. Something's off in the relationship with God. So have compassion, forgive them, pray for them. You might need to set limits, but move forward in faith with Jesus today. Abide with Jesus. And I want to tell you there's healing in the name of Jesus. So be encouraged today. Seek the Lord today. Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He keeps all of his promises, including he's going to return and reign. And if you've never put your trust in Jesus, make that decision today. If you are just trying to do all your relationships without abiding with Jesus, and you don't know him as Savior, as friend, as God, you don't know him in that close relationship, start the relationship now. Choose to follow Jesus. Receive him into your life as Lord of your life. And there's never going to be a better decision. He will change all your relationships, and he will be your source of joy and peace, even in the fiercest storm. God, we pray right now, if there's anyone who doesn't know you, that they put their trust in you. God, we pray for anyone that's been betrayed. We pray for healing. And God, we pray for anyone that's been mean or taken advantage of other people. Lord, there would be repentance right now. There would be restoration. And we ask this in Jesus' name. Amen. Any other prayer requests you have, please leave them. And again, it's an honor to be with you. My name is Jesse. Let's follow the Lord. Let's stay out of the trap of betrayal. Let's take the high road. Let's be people of loyalty. And again, share this video with other people. Let's spread the good news around the world. Jesus is King. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is good. He is the Messiah. Have a great day abiding with Jesus.